The global elite just banned TikTok. Don't they like blow up in submarines and stuff? Hmm. Well, it's not off my phone yet. Might as well watch a couple of my favorite videos. What's up guys, welcome to Sauce Pot. Today we got TikTok food trends. We're gonna jump right into it. We're gonna watch the video together. You'll see it probably on this side, this side, maybe in my own eyes. All right, let's get into it. I still eat it almost every single day, but I thought it would be boring to like always post about it, so I just didn't. But I still get these kind of comments like every single day. And it's been it's been about a year. That's crazy, huh? It's been about a year. I think I get the, I get, think I get the gist. So, I found garlic cloves and brine. I imagine it's pickled garlic cloves. Um, I got sriracha, and I didn't get exactly the same seasoning as she did. That's okay. Cook to your ability. All right. So just a ton of sriracha. It seems like she put that in there. Uh, maybe it's not enough, maybe it is. And then I got curry, garlic powder, and onion powder. I think that's gonna gonna work real nice with this. Seems to be working fine. Oh man, I found a new contender for the pickle spot. Oh, now we're mixing. Now we're mixing. Yeah, do that a couple times in a row and you'll have a fucking jacked ass arm. That's what I'm having. All the single men out there and ladies. I don't know what ladies do. I'm surprised I even have a girlfriend. All right. Is that ASMR? All right. Um, maybe I'll just mix it with a spoon for This is a disaster. Maybe I should have got a bigger jar. A bigger jar for more jar things. Um, I think that looks good. I'm fucking nervous. <laughs> It's really good. Like all the heatness you get from like a raw onion. That's a garlic. The raw garlic, um, that like pungent flavor you get if you eat it raw, is gone, completely gone. The curry came through, uh, the sriracha came through. That's a lot of curry. I will say maybe dump out a little bit more to give you some headspace so you can mix it around. Maybe put the seasoning in first. That's cool. I think I'll put it on rice like she said in the video. Maybe I'll even, I don't know, fit this in my ass. If you're seeing this video, consider it your sign to go make the viral pizza lava toast. It's basically the ooeyest and gooeyest filled pizza toast and I'm here for it. And it's easy to make. You're gonna start with two slices of bread, then form a square with cheese, keeping the center empty. Place another piece of bread on top, press down the middle, fill with pizza sauce, add cheese and Italian seasoning on top. You're gonna pop it in the oven at 375 for about eight minutes and then- All right, I mean, it's a homemade pizza pocket, hot pocket. All right. Um, I didn't get the blocks, long blocks, the, the long block, the long, the, I didn't get the long blocks of cheese. I'm just sticking with mozzarella. You know what? Never mind. Don't even worry about that. That last part's gone. You'll never know what I said. It's going to be cut from editing. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to take some bread. I forgot to get parchment paper. That's too much. It's too much, Christian. You gotta hold, you gotta get a spoon. I'm gonna push down the center. Right. As one would do. And she used her hands. I gotta show her the fuck up. All right, maybe, maybe not so much of a man. All right, we're just gonna press this down 
and have this one ready. So, uh, just generic in a jar mozzarella sauce. I didn't think that I would need to cook anything or do anything crazy like that. I'm gonna follow her recipe, kind of. So, some mozzarella down. We're gonna get some mozzarella down on top of it. Cause that's gonna be a volcano. Like you guys ever have a Domino's lava cake? I haven't, so I don't know what that reference is to. But I definitely didn't have it. All right, set it in like that. Seal her up. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then, why did I go for the marinara again? We're going to put a little bit more mozzarella on top, and just lay some pepperonis. Be nice. Be generous. And then I'm going to move that to the side and make a second one. So I'm going to throw that down. Put the rest of, nope. I can't follow a recipe. I just create to create. All right, marinara sauce down. Got some mozzarella. I don't know what those cut. Windmill cut and I'll be back with mozzarella. All right, got some more cheese. I'm gonna just layer that on. Get some pepperoni. Layer that on too. Should have grabbed pepperoni. Steal from the rich and give it to the poor. All right, put another piece of bread on top. And this is gonna be good for like, if you're on a diet, like oh, all your friends are being fucking bums getting pizza without you and you're trying to be all nice and cool like oh yeah i can eat pizza or like yeah i have pizza we have like an event going on you can make this they're gonna laugh at you and beat the shit out of you they're gonna bully you bad but maybe just maybe if they try it it'll be good all right we're gonna do another windmill cut and they'll be done uh in the oven at 375 for eight minutes see you here soon So, it's been about eight minutes. Oh, please don't burn, okay. So the bottom got a little crispy. Maybe, maybe she had a point, but let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh my God, fresh up. Oh my God, oh my God. That's pretty good. I mean, it's not like a normal pizza. Would I rather have a slice? Yes. But this, so far, we're knocking them out of the park on these ones. Oh. Let's get into the next one. Hamburger tacos. I love TikToks when they just start fucking like twerking. Just dudes twerking to this random shit. A fish! <gasps> Alright, they made they made like a Big Mac. I'm trying to watch my girlish figure. Do I look skinny here? How about here? You guys wanna see my belly? You haven't seen my belly in a minute. All right, so I'm just making a normal. All right, so this is just a hate fucked taco, like a Big Mac, like hate fucked a normal taco from Taco Bell and made this abomination. You're just gonna put raw meat on a tortilla. I forgot to season it.
Let's not use my dirty little meat beaters. Just some salt. And let's prepare this other one. And I'm gonna cook these off so you guys don't hear all the fucking noises. So I got these, I didn't want it to blow your ears off, so I tried it with two different tortillas. I tried it with one with a floor. I tried with one's a flour tortilla and the other's a corn. Just in case there's some corn boys out there or some flour boys out there. I just want to have a, whatever. All right, I'm just going to put some ketchup. I didn't really make a Big Mac. I more or less made just like the normal McDonald's cheeseburger. Let's be honest. All right. I guess I'll start with this. Oh my God, it's so fucking hot. We'll start with this flour or this corn one. It got a nice bottom to it. And that's weird. I'd rather just have a taco or a hamburger. The corn crisp up nice. That was good. Let's try the flour one. All right, too. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mix these. I don't think I would want to make this again. Am I even ranking these or just showing you guys that these exist? Do I even exist? This is how to make tanghulu at home. They're sugar-coated fruits that are oh so addicting. First, wash your fruits. Get the prettiest strawberries you can find and a thousand percent recommend these shine muscat grapes. It is crucial to dry your fruits. You dip it in sugar and they're still moist. Honey, it ain't gonna be crunchy. Give your strawberries a trim, then stab them with barbecue sticks and feel free to eat right. I get it. So, I want to forewarn you guys. This is worse than napalm. You're literally making something that would melt and kill a kid. Please, for the love of God, do not throw this on your enemies. This is not for acts of war or terrorism. This is solely just for food. And I can't wait to eat it. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm, I know this isn't like necessarily the most trendiest thing now. I mean, kind of, kind of not. It's been around for a while on the internet, but I'm so excited. Like, like I don't think you guys understand how excited I am. I, I've, I've seen this for so long. And I'm just, I'm going to make it. I was scared that if I started making this, then I'd have to use it against someone. Should have done this first. But I'm glad to eat Impaler in this bitch. And you're just going to kind of stack it up. And again, be very careful. You kind of want to have these motherfuckers coated real well. Don't go in. No. I don't know if that worked or not. Give me one second. I'm going to get more sugar. So I got it to like seeming consistency. And we're just gonna coat this bad bitch. And you can really see it's getting like glossy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Napalm on the napalm na napalm I'm say ah, I'm so scared. I actually am genuinely like terrified of this shit. Like, no joke, some of the worst burns I've ever seen were from trying to caramelize sugars 
and other shit like that. Um, but I bukkake the fuck out of these. And we're gonna dip it in. Let that one sit. When you wash these, and trim them, you really, 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 I mean really want to make sure that there's not a lot of water. Like in the video, we went over it. If there's a lot of water on them, they won't stick. The sugar will not stick. Also, use a pan you might not like. This one's probably dead. This pan's probably fucked. It's done forever. And I might have to take it out like old Yeller. I'm sorry, boy. We are glazing this one up and see with this consistency it's not super runny. That kind of worked. I don't know what's going on with this. This one's going to be better. Trust me guys. I'm a scientist. We're just gonna let this actually sit in there. Why not? I really wanna just take a big old fucking bite of this. My intrusive thoughts are winning. Good tip, make sure that your sugar is at 300. Um, you should get a spoon. One that you don't like, uh, that one that you guys saw me spoon all that sugar on, it's gone, dead, never to be seen again. Um, with that being said, you wanna have a spoon and once you put it into ice cold water, it should harden up instantly. I got this pretty nice. Mm. That one was one of the ones that was just in there. This one I think is gonna be a real nice treat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That lived up to the hype. Well that's it guys. Thanks for being along with this shorter-ish video of some TikTok trends. Can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. Y'all have a good day.